What's up guys? I know, I know, I know, I know. I was supposed to do 13 nights of Halloween. I know. It kind of went from the moment that I said, I'm going to do it. And I didn't do it. And I sincerely, deeply apologize for that. However, I have come to you in sincere, deepest apologies on November 1st. October was crazy hectic. I was supposed to do a film, but then it fell through and then things started to happen and I just didn't get it out. And I apologize very sincerely for that. I am so sorry. So, make it up to you. I have a very special film review today. What I'm going what I'm going to review today is drum roll please. Comparison between Halloween 1978 and the Rob Zombie remake. I'm not reviewing Halloween that just came out because on a technical basis that's a remake of Halloween 2. So that's for another day. Maybe next year. We'll see. Um, okay. So in the Halloween 1978 version, we see at the beginning of the movie just a from a childlike point of view, just this little kid in a mask running around, typical things in you know, getting his costume on trick-or-treating, murdering people. Yeah. The opening sequence is basically of a very young six-year-old Michael Myers killing people. Namely his older sister for being a slut. And her boyfriend. Okay? And, can, and we have absolutely no backstory of why this kid does this. We don't know what has been going on in his family life to cause him to do this. Let's go to the Rob Zombie version. We see a 10 year old Michael Myers being abused by his slutty sister. Doted on by his stripper mother. And being abused by his drunk lout of a stepfather. When he kills his stepfather, I was, I was very terrifyingly giddy about that. Just saying. Um, so we actually, and we see him being bullied at school. So there is already a difference in how Michael Myers is set up. We don't get much of a backstory from the John Carpenter version. We get a whole lot of backstory from the Rob Zombie version. Something to think about. Some remakes are good like that. In the John Carpenter version, we actually skip ahead, skip past Michael's entire time in the sanitarium. And we go straight to when Lori is a teenager, she's a babysitter, and we get the birth of Scream Queen Jamie Lee Curtis. We see nothing that happened at the sanitarium that could cause Michael Myers to further become Michael Myers. We just see that he went and then he escaped. Nothing else. In the Rob Zombie version, we actually see what goes on at the sanitarium. We see him at first talking to the doctor and then progressively stops talking. Um, his mom and what I think they're saying in the Rob Zombie version triggered him to stop talking is that his mom came to visit while his mom was visiting. He had an urge to kill a particular nurse. And he kills her. Stabs her to death with a spork. A spork. Let me say that one more time. A spork. Kills her with a spork. And 
Well, <laughs> his mom is no longer allowed to visit. His mom pretty much goes crazy and kills herself, leaving his baby sister all by herself. And over. Yeah, they don't tell you how the parents go away in the John Carpenter one. How the mom leaves in John Carpenter one. We just know that Lori is adopted by these new people. I don't even remember. If you remember how Lori was orphaned from the John Carpenter one, comment down below because my brain is going on that right now um so mom kills herself Lori's left alone she gets into foster care how about that little dynamic going on right there um sanitarium Michael Myers when he's older we go into his room and we see all of these masks that he has made because he's obsessed with masks because the night that he did his killing he wore a clown mask. So he's completely obsessed with masks and hiding his face when he does these murderous things. Um, we see this group of quote orderlies bringing this chick who has all kinds of mental illnesses. She's traumatized whatever and rapes her in Michael's cell with Michael in there making lewd comments and things towards Michael. Michael then kills them. Then takes their keys and proceeds to escape the sanitarium. Okay, so we know how Michael escapes. Via the Rob Zombie version. Wonderful. We know how he escapes. Um, so, so far, one gives us a slow burn, suspense, years that they're going, how did this happen? How did they let this happen? The other one gives us an explanation. It's more gory, more killing. The body count is higher, but it's not as slow of a burn and chilling as the John Copperter one. But you have to also remember, it's Rob Zombie. This is the dude that gives us Dracula and um, more human than human. I mean, I love Rob Zombie. I've loved him for a while. He's an awesome musician and an awesome director. I mean, House of a Thousand Corpses. Hello. Um, anyway, so, so far, the comparison is that beginnings are completely different sort of the same setup but still completely different um you have one that does not give you much of a backstory but then you have another one that dives more into what made michael myers michael freaking myers and for that, you really want to know why Michael Myers is the way he is. Especially in the Rob Zombie version, because it gets kind of gory. So, of course, both movies, Michael Myers goes around on Halloween night killing slutty babysitters. Acquiring his Inside Out William Shatner mask and just being his freaking self just awesome and amazing right um and the only difference I see between both movies is one has a higher body count one is bloodier one is gorier and one it's just a classic that further establishes horror movie tropes and slasher film tropes becoming the first slasher film in history just all time i cannot say which one i like better than the other i like both of them i like the john carpenter version 
which is not as bloody or as gory as the Rob Zombie version. But I also like the Rob Zombie version because <laughs> I love horror movies. Uh, so, comment down below. Which one do you like better? Do you like Halloween, the John Carpenter version from the 70s? Or do you like the Rob Zombie version of Halloween? Let me know. We're not talking about the Halloween that came out this year. We're talking about... We are the music makers. And we are the dreamers of dreams. Mm -hmm.